Hey, it's time for something new. Since I started this channel, I haven't had the chance to review something like a bag or a backpack up until recently. I've been reached out by Brevity, a family-owned business from Boston whose little kickstarted project set up the new standard in the industry for camera backpacks. Brevity offers different kinds of bags and accessories and I got the Jumper Edition, a pine green version of a camera backpack. Let me share with you is it really that good, as many media portals suggest. Quick question for you. What's your backpack of choice? Please answer in the comment section below. Hi friends and welcome to Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of latest Apple news, leaked information, tech rumors and product reviews. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications. See you in the next video. This one is sponsored by Bravity. Now let's go. backpack that I received is a regular sized version. It feels like it's made from durable fabrics. It is water resistant, machine washable and what's cool is that Brevity gives a lifetime warranty for it. The biggest question however for me was its capacity. Once you go the unzipping and unveil all the compartments within the answers become more clear. But where really Brevity's backpack separate from the rest is modularity and possibility to adjust it to your specific needs. I mean it's it's about what kind of travel you are. For myself, it really depends from my trip. Most of my recordings are done in the studio, but from time to time, I have to move for more than just a day and then I need to make sure that all my gear is with me. For start, as you can imagine, I want to try out how much of technical equipment I could fit in if I would go somewhere for a long time. Hypothetically, in this scenario, I would have a second luggage only for my clothing, some basic stuff and a few bigger extras. So if you do wonder what is in my bag, there's a lot of stuff. The main thing for me is Sony ZV-E10 camera, which I'm using to record this video, so you won't be seeing it that much. The mother of everything is my MacBook, which is stored in a special sleeve. The upper compartment is already modular, which with a single move lets you get access all the way down to the bottom section of the backpack. But in my case, it needs to be smaller, enough to fit my 11-inch iPad Pro, my huge power bank, mini tripod, little bag with external drives and my glasses. And the bottom part is designed for the camera. It has adjustable and removable padding so you can protect your gear. Now, since I don't have other lenses, I wanted to put as much as other stuff as possible. I already mentioned my Sony camera and with that I brought an external battery, a charger with a cable and an extra polarizing filter. Since I will be away for a few days, my Logitech mouse, my MacBook charging brick and MagSafe cable would be essential. There wouldn't be a recording without the mic, so Blue Nano with a cable should be there too. Another compartment is reserved for minor stuff. Belkin MagSafe battery pack, mini Sopuru hub for additional ports, my AirPods 3, tiny bag with home keys and my 3-in-1 charger so I don't have to drag with me everything at once. I almost forgot the hidden pocket for my passport which I will use as a spot for my iPhone. The side pocket I reserved initially for my M2 gimbal but later I changed my mind for a water bottle because gravity suggests that we need to be hydrated. Finally, at the bottom, you can easily fit a bigger tripod. Truth be told, there's a lot of stuff here. So, yeah, now I get the hype. But let's go back and do something more subtle, like a two-day trip which takes place at least once per month due to my other business needs. A MacBook, two pairs of socks and underwear, t-shirts, sweater, pants, and basic toiletries with my glasses as always. Shutterstock water bottle aside, I zoom Y. Forward lower compartment for my camera, extra battery, charger with a cable and a filter in case I really need it. My mouse is coming with me if I'm gonna work a lot. Kishu 3-in-1 charger as well as the Inu B64 power bank. If I need an extra juice for my Mac in the smaller front compartment, similar as the last time. 
MagSafe power bank, AirPods, keys and my USB hub. Finally, the secret pocket is once again reserved for my iPhone. That's much more like it. To be honest, I'm pleasantly surprised with Brevity Jumper, especially since this is regular size version. I'm curious how big is the L. This is really well thought through backpack. It is attractive and modern and it's made of quality materials. Modularity just adds a plus to its structure and usability. All compartments are divided by thicker layers of protection and alongside internal paddings ensure security for sensitive gear, something that every photographer and enthusiast would appreciate. And let's not forget quick access pocket for camera so you don't miss a shot. Now is there something I would wish more? Of course. I personally like the design of the runner backpack more and I wanted that yellow color. Also I'm a fan of anti-theft backpacks with charging connectors so seeing something like that would be a winner for me. Other than that, this brevity backpacks have really set the bar of what camera bag should be and I can't wait to see what they will reveal next. In the meanwhile, if you like this review, please subscribe, slap that thumbs up and turn on all notifications. My big thanks for Bravity for sending me this product and thanks to all of you for watching Digital Markings content. This is Marco, hope to see you soon and Happy New Year! Bye! <music>